Richard Southern joins us for our interesting stories chat and we'll start this one with a question Richard how long are you able to actually put your phone down tell me if this is true for you sometimes I'll put a show on uh, TV or on Netflix and I'm thinking I really want the show to end so I can look at my phone again very often you know I'm, I'm on about? my phone while the show is on so I'll be you know it's two screens at the same time which is terrible true you miss everything and anyways people are hooked on their phone but there is a sliding scale thereof Erica and experts have now come out with the internet addiction spectrum so let's see where we all think we fall on this almost 15 percent are called casual users they just go on for a specific task put the phone down afterwards that's like my mom you know 22 percent called initial users they find themselves online longer than they initially planned and are somewhat neglectful of things like household chores. 21% are experimenters. Uh, they um, are more willing to try out new apps and start to feel anxious when they're not on their phone. 17% addicts in denial. They won't admit to feeling uneasy when they're not staring at their phone. And then there's full-blown addicts. The group openly acknowledges their phone addiction and recognizes its negative impact on their life. I guess I can't have fall maybe into that category, Eric. I mean, yeah. we need to use it for our job, so I kind of justify it that way, don't you? Yeah, it's a little difficult, but I try on the weekends because I, I think I would fall in that category as well, but on the weekends, I'll try and not use social media just because I have to use it so often during the week. But And are you successful bad. with that? Generally, yes. I would say I'm you know, 80% <laughs> successful, but there are times when I pick up my phone I have to. I know it's so. bad it's bad yeah okay Disney is facing a lawsuit this one sounds rather painful and serious uh, ouch it does um, a woman went to uh, Disney World in Orlando uh, this is a few years ago apparently and uh, she has now filed a lawsuit alleging what she calls an injurious wedgie that was received following a painful ride on the Typhoon Lagoon this is a water park ride that involves a nearly five-story plunge in the dark at nearly 65 kilometers an hour. Uh, it, the wedgie to end all wedgies, the lawsuit alleges, could have been avoided if Disney had instructed uh, the proper clothing to wear. It hasn't been proven in court, no word from Disney just yet. You know, this is why when I go to these parks, I, I stick to the, um, you know, the food and beverage offerings. Give me the, you know, the Dole Whip instead of the injurious wedgie, Erica. I haven't been to Disney in quite a while, but the food I heard, you know, is, is good, I guess. Rather expensive, uh, maybe? Better than the wedgie, I'm sure. Yeah. All right, it's not unusual <laughs> for a car to be pulled over for speeding, but usually there's a human behind the wheel. Can you explain this one, Richard? Uh, there was a dog uh, behind the car. And, and look at this, look at the doggy driving the oh car. Oh my goodness, what's going on? Slo this is Slovakia, a um, traffic camera uh, caught this and uh, police uh, found the car and pulled it over to find out what's going on. Why is there a dog driving? The 31 year old owner of the car who was the actual driver told police that the dog had unexpectedly jumped behind the wheel while he was driving. But police said they suspect the man was probably allowing the dog to ride on his lap. And uh, police are now urging dog owners to make sure their pets are properly restrained while in a moving vehicle. Now, if your one-eyed dog, Luna, could drive, where do you think she'd drive to, Eric? Probably straight to the park. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she would just she wouldn't need, drive wouldn't need you anymore park. for that. No, no. But I mean, you know, she has one eye, so I, I, I wouldn't put her behind the wheel. Uh, <laughs> she'd be veering all over it Young Street. Just, Keep it, her off the road. Own, yeah, okay. Thanks, Richard. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Go Jays. <laughs>